What it do, gang, on this early Monday morning. We just dropped the coals off. And now we're at uh, Gerdau here in Charlotte, waiting to load up. Get another load of steel like we had the other day, but luckily, we, good thing we don't have to talk today. So we're just gonna throw a couple straps and hit the road. We heading to Point of Rocks, Maryland. Never heard of that. It's about a seven hour trip. We got plenty of time on the clock. So hopefully we get in and out of here. Got here kind of early because I was right up the street on load and my appointment went until 11. I got here like 15 to 10. But yeah, so I was way early. So he told me just can't accept if your appointment is 11. They only do 30 minutes before the appointment. So he told me to chill out until 1035 and just roll on back so we can get loaded up, man. Been a good Monday so far, man. Hopefully we can get up here. I just know it's not no truck stops up north, man. And I ain't got nowhere. I can't park at the site. Say no overnight parking. And don't want to park too far from uh, the drop in the morning. That means you got to get up, drive, go ahead and start running that clock. So hopefully we can find something nearby. Parking, truck parking at night, man, rough, man. It's limited out here, man. It's crazy. But yeah, man, we got about five more minutes. The thing we got to do is put some timbers out. And I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't know how long they are. I seen a Maverick guy the other day. He got like, I think it was like 50 footers, 60 footers. They was hanging out the back of his trailer. So I don't know what we gonna get till we get around here and see what they talking about and don't. Uh, I gotta give them the little sign in sheet. They had a paperwork back here. But I'll keep y'all tuned in on what we get, man, before we hit the road. Y'all stay locked in with me. Dang, when I tell you guys I was just sweating bullets, like I'm delivering in Point of Rock, Maryland. The place I'm delivering to has no overnight parking. Cross's truck stop was on the way. It was an hour and a half. I stopped there and fueled up. I didn't want to park that far away because that's more time on off your clock for tomorrow. I looked for the next truck stop. The next truck stop was an hour past my drop in the morning. So I seen a facility across the street from where I'm delivering from. They had everything roped off. Long story short, I, I'm lucky I found civilization. I found the lows 20 minutes past where I drop off in the morning. I had no choice but to make it. We got a load of steel on here we picked up in Charlotte today. Couple straps, no tarp, pretty easy load. I'm gonna crash here for the night. Hopefully no nobody say nothing. Because there was, oh my, I'm talking about on back streets. No, nothing but land, no civilization, nowhere. When I, for 30 minutes. When I come up out of there and seen people, oh my goodness. I ain't know what was about to happen. Whew. Lord have mercy. I do not know what to say. Thank God we found somewhere to park. It's crazy, man, how these facilities, most of the, sh most of the shippers where you pick up from, most of them, you can, it's overnight parking. It's the consignees that don't have overnight parking. Where you dropping off at? And it's crazy because that's when you need the overnight parking. And you don't want to just pull on, the, well, I don't want to just, there was no rest, no rest areas. Like this place is literally out in the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Fifty-four minutes left on the clock. Cut that short. 
just unloaded out here at the steel plant out here in uh, Point of Rocks, Maryland. That's what it say. Watch how quick we get a load. It say current loads in the area, loads short in the area zero, drivers in the area seven, drivers empty in that area two. I'm second on the load board right there, second. So let's see how quick we get a load in. Maverick pretty quick, man, we're getting you the loads, man. Pretty much probably have like a, I think the max I waited was like 10 minutes one time. And that was late on a Friday afternoon. I told you, that quick. Workflow, job received. Let's see what we got. Uh, looks like, let's see, we going to Tamco Roofing. I've been there before. And we going to Providence, Kentucky. So yeah, man. Let's write this info down, put the address in. Let's get rolling, gang. I told you, man, they keep us moving, man. Anybody that ain't getting no miles out there, man, you can get them over here. That's all I'm gonna say. You can get them over here. That quick get a load, man. They just got me unloaded. See my trailer back there? Let's get it, man. Well, we got another shingles load, gang. I knew I had been to this place before. It's a place where we got the shingles the last time. Out here loading up in the, they call it the blue parking lot. We got, um, we going to Providence, Kentucky. It's 696 miles. So truck time is 12 hours, 49 minutes. So let's see, we got, that's a clock right there. We got 10 hour, nine minutes drive time. We can get them things loaded up quick. Man, we can have a pretty good day today. Pretty easy day. These ain't hard to secure. Couple straps, edge protectors. Throw your trip chain around it so it won't move, slide nowhere. And we just gonna hit the road today. Don't have to be dropped off until between 7 and 4.30, but we're going to try to get it there as early as possible, man. Because I need to stop at the truck stop. I need to get me a shower. I didn't sleep good at all last night without that shower. It sucks when you can't get a shower. Couldn't find nowhere to park last night. Nowhere near that place I just dropped off at. Calculating alternate route due to closure on I-81. No, you're not about to calculate ahead. Turn no right on English route. Muffin Way. Last time that thing calculated alternate route, that thing had me downtown Baltimore, Maryland. You talking about somebody nervous? It was so tight down through there, I made three turns and got up out of there. Is they going to flag me in or what they going to do? I see they loading him down now. Well, it's time to get it, gang. I'll get back with
Guy had to make a pit stop, guy. Guy got about two hours up the road. Started feeling a little woozy, started nodding off. So I said, man, you know what? I said, man, let me see. I got some time to kill. Let me stop, give me a shower, give me something to eat. Got about an hour, about two hours to kill. Get me some energy up in me so we can knock this trip out. Man, if you get sleepy out there, man. You get sleepy out there, man. Pull that thing over, man. It ain't it ain't none of this worth nobody life. I'm telling you. trash bag man just empty my trash I can't have my truck junkies I can't have my truck junkies thank you like some people man I be seeing these guys some of these people be getting out of these trucks man they just be dropping trash right beside their truck trash can right beside them like come on man you do something like that and let me know what your truck or your house look like we good to go now, got that for in, for in a little bit. The truck start starting to fill up at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I got me a pillow to sit on, but my butt be hurt. This, this pillow flat as I don't know what now. Let's get it. I get back with y'all when we make it down the road, man. Y'all stay locked in with me. gang, we back at it another day. Head to drop off, dropping off the shingles. Looks like we already got our next load while we was on the way here. We headed to Gent, Kentucky to get three coils. And then we headed to Bristol, Tennessee. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get these straps and stuff off of these shingles so we can get up out of here. I'm gonna go to work, man. Get the light low. no trouble but I didn't know and I do I've been uh, doing YouTube trying to start a YouTube channel like just videoing my process and stuff trying to trying to just do some stuff while I'm out here on the road you know appreciate it
Well, gang, I might have messed up. Tightened down the shingles too hard, bent the top ones, damaged them. They didn't deny them, they still accepted them, but they made a phone call, took a picture showing that the top was damaged. I didn't know you weren't supposed to tighten them real tight. Had I known, I wouldn't have, but I mean, it is what it is. Safety come first with me, I didn't know. I had my edge protectors on. I mean, I didn't know. But he's almost done unloading us. We're going to Gent, Kentucky to swap trailers, pick up three coils, tarp. It's about 216 miles from here, about three hours, some change. Taking those three coils to Bristol, Tennessee. Got about six hours, 57 minutes on the drive clock. About a three and a half hour drive. So we're gonna get there and we're gonna have a three hours left to drive. Try to get loaded up real quick. Take off the Bristol, man. At least get somewhat down the ways. Bristol, 325 miles from where I'm picking the coils up at. So that's about a six hour drive. So it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of driving tomorrow. But hey, it is what it is, man. Dang, had I known, I wouldn't have tightened down that tight. Some people might say that's common sense, but I didn't know. So it is what it is. Y'all stay locked in with you. He got about two, three more pallets left. I'm going to back up out of here. Hit the road, man. Sweating, gang. Out here working. Don't got to the drop or the pickup. Swapping trailers. Got three coils. Had to switch everything over. Gotta take the straps off and replace with chains. We don't chain no coils now with straps. That's just how they do to get them out in the yard. Not too heavy. Two straps a piece. Yeah. Let's go ahead and knock it out so I can hit the road. And I got a tarp. Get real at the truck stop. I made me a spot over here <coughs> on the wall. Lady pulled up down there and said, can you pull up a little bit so I can get in? Uh, park behind you and my man in the car hauler done made a spot. Ain't nobody gonna be able to bend the corner. They out here deep. Jungle out here for real. Alright gang, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Hope y'all enjoy the little footage I had. It's Thursday. Just got my last load of the week so i was kind of excited about that but we going to new york man <laughs> we going to new york that's crazy i wasn't excited about that part but it is what it is but man we just made it to the house well where i park at and was coming from tennessee today dropping off the What did I have? I had the three coils, yeah, the three coils. Man, I get all the way down the road and look what comes on. Oops. Well, two of them done went off. I did have a check engine light. Pass smart went out. I was rolling 70 down the road like regular, and then all the lights just popped on. Pass smart went out from 70. I was doing 58. It wouldn't go over 58. Then I tried to do the pass smart again. It was topping out at 63. So I don't know. And now they gone off. 
They just flicker on and off. I don't know what's going on. But we're coming from Charlotte Pike. Show y'all what we got. Some old cast iron pipe. I don't know what this is. That right there, try to tighten it down. It's bending, cause that's wood. Like, I don't want it loose though. Those bent a little bit, but ain't that tight, but I guess, I don't know. My edge protector up there bent. First time I had the cast iron. But that's a wrap for this one. Go on, get some rest. Probably have to leave out early Sunday morning. It might be late Saturday night, I don't know. But we gonna see. Lock this thing up. Oh, can't forget the wallet. Oh. See ya. Uh, ain't gonna try to break in my truck. But yeah, man, y'all stay tuned in, man. I'm gonna wrap this one up, man. I will get with y'all on the next one.